Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to change the position of overlapping elements with the z-index property. Um, when elements are positioned to overlap the element coming later, and the HTML markup will by default appear on top of the other elements. However, z-index properties can specify the order of how elements are stacked on top of one another. Uh, it must be an integer, a whole number, and not a decimal. So meaning like 1 would be an integer, 5 would be an integer, 100 would be an integer. Uh, not a decimal, meaning 1.2, 5.3, or 100.2. Uh, the higher values of the Z index property of the element move it higher in the stack to those that are lower in values. So they've got a, an example here where the first and second element are, um, are here. They're, we just have a div in which the sizes are set with their width and height. And then so first and second. One is red, so first is red and second is blue. So as you can see, the first element is by default uh, set behind the blue element. And so what we're going to do is add a Z index property to the element with the class uh, name first. So the class name first, classes period, and the, with uh, the red rectangle and set it to a value of two so that it covers the element of the blue rectangle. So essentially what we're trying to do is just bring this red rectangle so that it overlaps the blue rectangle. And so to do that, we're just going to go, as we can see, the Z index is already set on the second. So if we set the Z index to two on this side, the red overlaps. But if we set the Z index for the second element to three, we would see that the blue element overlaps again. And so that's how we do the overlapping the Z index. Think about it like X, Y, and then Z is the, um, is the depth of the page. And so now we run the tests and it should pass. Great. Hope you guys found this useful. Um, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you liked it for more videos. And we'll see you in the next lesson.